Freedom of the Seas features an overview is coming up next. Are you looking for a short trip to the Bahamas and Mexico? Then here are the 10 must-hit things to know before boarding Freedom of the Seas. First sailed in 2006, it recently got enhanced in 2020. On this Freedom Class cruise, you'll be sailing with 3,782 other guests. The itinerary includes three to five nights, sailing from Miami to the Bahamas to Mexico. On board, you'll find dual water slides, a flow rider, rock climbing, multiple food and drink options, and other entertainment venues. Starting from the Deck 3 forward, we've got the Royal Theater that goes from Deck 2 to Deck 4, and it hosts a lot of amazing shows. While midship is the home to Studio B to enjoy ice skating shows and laser tag, while towards the back there's a photo studio, an art gallery, and the main dining room that goes up to Deck 5. Wondering about some Japanese dining? Then head to Uzami, Hibachi, and Sushi on Deck 4 while Schooner Bar is a great cocktail venue with amazing piano music. Moving aft, you will find the Casino Royale, which has a central bar as well, while the midship is the Playmaker's Sports Bar and Arcade to enjoy a ton of games with food and drink. For some Latin-inspired mojitos and music, Boleros is the perfect venue on Deck 4. Looking for some fun drinks and shopping? If yes, then head to the Royal Promenade on Deck 5. Here at the Forward is the Star Lounge, a venue for games, music, and other shows. Moving back, there is a library, card room, a lot of retail shops. And for pizza lovers, there's Sorrento's, Bull and Bear, an English pub, that offers music and beers, while wine lovers will head to the Vintages. For ice cream, check out Ben & Jerry's, while quick coffee and snacks will be served in Cafe Promenade that is complimentary. Now, if you want to know about the complimentary dining venues aboard the Freedom of the Seas, then consider subscribing. While in the Royal Promenade, you can book shore excursions, your next cruise, and guest services, and our bar. Decks 6 to 10 are reserved for staterooms. Now, for some sun and fun, head to Deck 11, for the gym, check out the Vitality at Sea Fitness Center on the forward side, while spa, massages, and other services will be found on Deck 12. Finding this info helpful? Then please share it with your friends. Moving aft on Deck 11, there is Solarium, an adult-only section with hot tubs, a pool, and a bar as well. Moving backward, there is the main pool, a sports pool, some hot tubs, and the redesigned lime and coconut bar, while your kids will enjoy the Splash Away Bay. Want to kill your hunger? Well, Deck 11 Aft is full of food options, such as El Loco, fresh to eat Mexican, soft serve for ice creams, Chops Grill, one of the best steakhouses. Giovanni's Italian Kitchen is a great venue for Italian dinner, and the Windjammer, one of the best buffets that also has the Plaza Bar. Want to jog? Well, the jogging track is on deck 12. At the backside, there is Nursery, an adventure ocean for kids and teens, and an arcade and Johnny Rockets. Deck 13 is for adventure seekers. Here at the aft side, there is Flow Rider, a surfing simulator, the Perfect Storm water slides, a sports complex, and the rock climbing wall while mini golf, the Freedom Dunes, and loungers will be found on the forwarding of Deck 13. Viking Crown Lounge could become your favorite nightclub on Deck 14. And there is a Sweet Lounge, as well as Diamond Club that is restricted to Diamond Club members. For accommodations, you have the option of staterooms and suites. Overall, you will enjoy your time on Freedom of the Seas. So that's all for this video. Click on like and make sure to check out some cool cruising tees from the description. Thanks for watching and goodbye.